Truth Inside, written by Golden Chaos. Fluttershy sat still on her couch. It has been plaguing her for days. One problem, one thought, one question that has been confusing her. When they were first friends, she hadn't thought much about how she felt about him. Discord. The name brings a blush to her face, and she gets butterflies in her stomach. <sighs> Fluttershy sighed. She couldn't figure out what she really felt about Discord. I feel so peeped, said Fluttershy, and she covered her mouth. And some animals that were running around the cottage stopped to stare at her. Excuse my language. I didn't mean to say that out loud. My friends. The animals shrugged it off and resumed to their daily lives. Fluttershy slumped in her chair. Discord's wholesome face, mesmerizing eyes, an amazing personality passed through her mind. Wait, did she just think Discord was wholesome? <laughs> Fluttershy squeaked, eyes widening. She didn't know where that thought came from, but she didn't seem to mind. I guess the only way to figure out this issue is to invite him over," exclaimed Fluttershy aloud, determination filling her eyes. <laughs> Fluttershy smiled as a familiar flash appeared in front of her. Fluttershy felt heat rush to her face as Discord appeared, arms wide. Fluttershy hugged him tightly. And then pulled away. Hello, Discord. Hello, my dear Fluttershy. Nice to invite me over. So, what did you need to see me for? Fluttershy thought on how to explain herself, but she decided to give a simple answer. I just needed to see you, replied Fluttershy, and she could have swore Discord's face tinged pink for a moment. The thought brought a smile to her face. You're one of my best friends, after all. Did disappointment flash in his eyes? He smirked. Well, I'm glad to see you again. It's been weeks. Why haven't you had a tea time or something? Fluttershy frowned deeply. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being a bad friend. Discord snickered and waved his paw in dismissal. <laughs> Nonsense, my dear. You are the best friend any pony could ask for," replied Discord. And it was Fluttershy's turn to be disappointed. For some reason, the word "friend" made Fluttershy unhappy. But she put a smile on her face to not upset Discord. Would you like some tea? Fluttershy needed to get away from Discord and think about why she felt upset. Sure. Replied Discord, and he plopped down on the couch, his legs up. Fluttershy took one last glance at Discord and flashed a smile before going into the kitchen. Her smile dropped, and she thought as she reached for the kettle, "Why did she feel so disappointed to be only friends with Discord? Did she not want to be his friend?" The thought of them hating each other made tears come to Fluttershy's eyes. She wiped her eyes. And put the kettle on the stove with tea leaves inside. A thought struck her, causing her to blush. Fluttershy thought, "Did she want to date Discord?" The thought didn't seem so bad. Deep in thought, she didn't realize the kettle was whistling loudly. Snapping back to reality, she quickly grabbed the kettle and shut off the stove before any damage was done. Sorry about the wait. Apologized Fluttershy as she carefully handled the kettle and set it on the coffee table. No problem, my dear. The way Discord said "my dear" made Fluttershy sigh and blush. <sighs> she gasped and quickly went into the kitchen. Be right back. I need uh, let's get the sugar and milk. In the kitchen, she groaned. <sighs> She wasn't in the living room for more than a minute, and she had to leave. She opened the cabinet and reached for the milk and sugar, and returned to the living room, to a confused discord.
He opened his mouth and he hesitated before speaking. Um, dear Fluttershy, what just happened a minute ago? Asked Discord, raising an eyebrow curiously at Fluttershy. She flattened her ears. Can we forget about it? I guess for now. Sugar? Discord simply nodded, and she filled a teaspoon with sugar and put it in his mug. He poured a bit of milk in his as well. Fluttershy simply put milk in her cup, not liking sugar in it. She stared at the light brown drink, not daring to look to Discord. Moments turning to minutes followed of silence, giving Fluttershy time to think. She remembered what Rarity told her about romance, and when some pony is in love with some pony else. When some pony has butterflies in their stomach at the mention of their name, or blushing, is one of the signs. Another is sleepless nights, because of missing the one pony. One of the last signs was the thought of loving the particular pony was nice. Fluttershy fit herself into these signs. All of them applied to her, and she inwardly gasped. <gasps> Sweet Celestia in her light! Fluttershy was in love with Discord! This pulled a smile to her face. Finally, she knew how she felt. Now, the hard part. She had to tell Discord before heartbreak could get her. She nearly dropped her tea when Discord cleared his throat. <clears throat> well, this has been great, my love. Ah! Discord blushed crimson as he blurred that out. Fluttershy stared in disbelief to Discord, not knowing what she heard. <gasps> what? What? Did Discord just say what she think he said? N nothing. Probably spoke too fast, that's all. Fluttershy felt disappointed. I really think I should get going. Celestia might need my help, and then I need to go home. He raised his talons, ready to leave, and Fluttershy grabbed his paw. Oh, please! Discord paused, eyes wide at the sudden contact. Uh, I have something to tell you. Fluttershy's face as well was bright crimson. Yes, my dear? prompted Discord, eager to leave because of his mistake. Fluttershy hid behind her mane, and then brushed it away as she looked Discord directly in the eyes. Her eyes brimmed with tears of love. <laughs>